Hey everybody, it's Boardman21, and today's build is going to be the three-piece avalanche set on the, the Shaman. And the way this set works, and its passive bonuses that it gives you, means that you basically want to have as high spell crit as possible, and to get as many boulders with a high damage as possible. So what's going to happen is, every time that you critically strike with a spell, you get a free boulder cast on top of that avalanche skill itself every time that it does a critical strike it will cast another boulder which means you can get two boulders for one and then on top of both of those on every spell cast that you do you have a chance to cast lightning a 40 percent chance thanks to your passive skills in the tree and that spell has a chance to crit which then can proc an additional boulder itself. Now a critically struck boulder that's already been procced cannot proc another one, so you cannot get a chain effect, but you can get a hell of a lot of boulders out of this build. So we're going to be getting as much critical strike as we can, which is hard considering that you do have to use three set pieces, which takes away a lot of the good spots. We cannot use a catalyst for that base spell crit chance which is really unfortunate but we did manage to still get above a 30 percent chance on spell cast now with that we wanted to get as many hits as possible with our spells so we're going to be running avalanche doing as many boulders as fast as possible we're going to have ice thorns not only casting as fast as possible but we're going to be having them pierce along with their base chance and in that way they can hit as many enemies as possible as fast as possible giving us as many possible critical strikes as you can get we also have tornado and maelstrom which you know, they're not going to do critical strikes because they are damage over time skills, which is unfortunate for them. But there wasn't really anything else that we could put in there that we'd be able to run. We do want Tornado for the mana regen so that we can have all of these on autocast. And Maelstrom has that ability to get you a bunch of dodge. But on top of that, you can also have Maelstrom cast... Um, lightning and that lightning can critically strike so we did throw that in there so maelstrom even though it's a damage over time skill its ability to cast lightning can give you another chance for a, another boulder and with that let's just go ahead and get into the skills for skills we're going to be running summon thorn totem maelstrom tornado avalanche and ice thorns for summon thorn totem we'll be using this for the maximum number of thorn totems for every time that it is procced and we will be using them to freeze since we're staying away from the poison clouds because that is just an fps killer we'll be running them in the homing style so we have three points in forested expanse three points in eternal forest one point in groove mind two points in ancient power four points in oaken protection one point in guided thorns two points in Memories of Edra, three points in Venom Tipped Thorns, and one point in Ice Thorn Totems. For Maelstrom, we're going to be using this for dodge, some damage, and to proc lightning. That way, when we cast the Maelstrom itself, which has a two second cooldown, each cast of it will have a chance for a avalanche to boulder to come down, and every lightning hit will also cast count as a spell cast and it will have a chance to have an avalanche come down so we have three points in ripple for the duration three points in turmoil for the increased area and with the three points in duration that means that with auto cast going we will always have six to seven stacks so we can use power of the storm which means we will cast lightning strike every second whenever we have that six stacks which will be all of the time and then with three points in energized we will now be striking four total targets every time that it goes off we will have three points in sleet footed for that 45 dodge rating per stack we'll have six stacks so that's almost 260 dodge rating flat dodge rating we also have three points in calm two points in arctic blast and one point in sudden gale to turn it into an insta cast in tornado we'll be using tornado for that mana regen buff and we'll put it into insta cast so that we won't have to stop every time that we cast it we did want to try the lightning with it we have not done that you can try the lightning there's a chance that that will also 
have a chance to critically strike and proc another avalanche it would just be one more layer on top of the ones we already have but the way we have it set up is one point in aspect of the storm four points in gusts of renewal one point in storm dervish five points in swift rings three points in lasting storm four points in hurricane one point in eye of the storm and one point in snap gale for avalanche we are using this for a cast and forget style play style and we're having it also not only have as fast full speed and as many boulders as possible with the frequency but every time that it crits it itself will do an additional avalanche we have one point in mountain peak one point in precision two points in naturally occurring one point in wild path four points in unyielding storm one point in hailstorm three points in intensity four points in storm front and that three points in alpine guide for that chance a 100 percent chance to summon the additional boulder on a crit and then for ice thorns all you want on this is to make sure it's casting every second with the insta cast and you want them to pierce and have as much crit chance as possible and with one point in emblem of might it's completely free to do one point in cold prison five points in piercing cold for that hundred percent pierce chance four points in dagger thorns for another four percent base crit one point in animal philly one point in thorn shield to turn it into a shield before it goes out one point in second nature to be an insta cast and with six points in floric tides your cooldown will only be one second now for passives we'll be running 28 points in the primal base class, 8 points in natural attunement, 5 points in wisdom of the wild, 5 points in thorn bond, 5 points in tempest born, and 5 points in elder branch, 0 points in beast master, 6 points in druid all which will be for the physical damage leech, so 6 points in blood claws, and then for the shaman we have 79 points. 8 points in Silent Protector, 2 points in Tempest Form, 10 points in Windbringer, 5 points in Hailbringer, 5 points in Shattered Heavens, 10 points in Heroic's Path, 5 points in Protective Circle, 8 points in Ruin of Awe, 8 points in Elemental Shrines, 8 points in Ascendance Circle, and then importantly the 5 points in Lagoon's Answer which allows us to have a chance to cast lightning strike every time a spell is cast which we have spells going off left right and center and with this 40 percent chance that lightning strike has a chance to crit and that crit will proc a boulder now the way that all works is with our items here we're going to be looking at the three piece set of helvar's pledge helvar's stand and the last gift of the mountain. What these will work together to do is to give you that three piece set to have a 100% chance to cast an avalanche boulder at target when you critically hit with a spell, which is going to be happening quite often. Now, as for your gear, the gear is not a huge deal. Basically, just dodge. We do have increased freeze freeze rate per stack of chill we're not doing a lot of chill right now we usually can though get three stacks with how many times we are hitting them and we have some additional spell damage other than that all that really matters on all of this is just get as much dodge as you can we do have mana regen on some items and then for idols there's two types of idols that you want you want the chance to cast an avalanche boulder on a spell cast and the increased cold damage per active totem and you want the summon thorn totem chance on hit between those two you'll have extra avalanche boulders coming down and you'll have a lot of cold damage because you will have five active totems at all times with that i'm going to go ahead and give you guys some gameplay <laughs> <laughs> 